Dr. Barbara. Welcome to the world of the man who wants to be Africa's next king. This is the fabulous life of President Yaya Jame of Gambia. President Jame is a megastar. Yaya is an enigma, like, oh my god. On the one hand, he's this totally repressive, super wealthy ruler who's been in charge for like over 20 years, and now is backing a change to the Gambian constitution, which would make him king for like life. But on the other hand, he's a fabulous dresser. Go figure. And if I have to rule this country for one billion years, I will. That's right. He's ready to rule for a billion years. And the message for critics of his government? If they don't like that, they can go to hell. I don't care what they say. Gambia's would-be king has buildings across the country named after him. He throws bread and biscuits to his subjects when driving his Hummer through town. And when he's not busy building his personality cult, he's using his magical powers. Yup, Jame says he can cure asthma, diabetes, hypertension, infertility, and HIV. Yeah, this whole HIV cure thing is a little weird, but I like that he's trying. Wherever he goes, paparazzi doesn't follow. Because in 1995, Jame reintroduced the death penalty to Gambia. And it's been a pretty popular penalty for political opponents and journalists ever since. Yaya's always surrounded by celebrities, and they love him. I didn't expect any of this, but the welcoming they gave me was very loving, very real. You could feel the pureness in his heart. He's just a wonderful human being. Girl, trust me, the Jacksons will say anything for a few bucks. <laughs> Is that catty? I'm bad. <laughs> will the Gambian parliament make President Jame a king? Who knows? But either way, this was your glimpse into the glitzed up, pimped out, fabulous life of royal wannabe King Jizzle. That's it guys, my name's Ikenna Azwike. Thank you for watching the show. I am on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Facebook, and you can subscribe to What's Up Africa on the What's Up Africa YouTube channel. I'll see you again soon for another edition of What's Up Africa.